Hey Battles, so today we're going to talk about how to ship your things to Ghana. The shipping company that I use to ship my items to Ghana, as well as the agent that I use to clear my items once it arrives in Ghana. And this is a conversation I'm so excited to talk about because that puts me one step closer to moving to Ghana. Look at her. Hey Battles, and we're back. So we already know what we're gonna talk about, right? Which is how to ship your things to Ghana. Now, I'm going to be telling you the shipping company that I use, as well as the agent that I use, and I'm gonna put it down in the description below. Now, as a disclaimer, I am not responsible for anything that may go wrong with you choosing the two companies that I use. I tell you guys all the time to do your due diligence and do your research to find a company that best fits your needs. For those who don't know me, my name is Miss Bohemian Goddess and I will be recording my journey from here, Dallas, Texas, all the way to Accra, Ghana. And I'm gonna be basically telling you all the things that I did for me to have a smooth transition into Accra, Ghana. Now, if that is something that you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification button so that you don't miss any content that I put out. So let's start. I am going to be shipping a three bedroom, two story home. So I'm taking everything with me. I'm not leaving anything behind unless I do not want it, okay? So also the shipping size that I use is the container is a 20 foot shipping container. Now, for those who have a car, I suggest a 40-foot shipping container. But for me, I'm not taking a car, so I just need a 20-foot shipping container. That is more than enough for me to take my stuff, okay? Now, the next thing is I did a lot of Googling, okay? I've called different shipping companies about their pricing and seeing where they ship. And one thing I must tell you is that you want to make sure that you ask these shipping companies do they ship household goods? Because a lot of shipping containers do not ship household goods. And so, as well as they might not ship to the country that you're going to. So you might want to always ask those two questions as well so that you don't even waste any time asking anything further, okay? Now, I also um, did a lot of questions on the group sum in on Facebook. And I got a lot of people that referred um, companies to me as well. And I've called those companies to see if they best fit my needs. And I was able to find one and I found the shipping company that I'm using from someone off of Facebook, okay? And I have done my due diligence for myself to make sure that they are beneficial for my needs and everything that I want and they are. So I'll be using Send Ship Shipping Company. That is who I will be using. I will put the description below, okay? Now, why did I choose um, SendShip? I chose them because, one, I saw their rating on Google, okay? That's number one. Number two, um, he answered all my questions. I mean, every single question that I had, he answered, and it didn't even matter the time. He answered each and every one of my questions in a timely manner. And it wasn't like he was getting annoyed with my questions, even if it was the same question, just ask a different way. That is one reason why I chose this company. The second reason why I chose this company is because they also do do door to door. They have someone there that they can help you with to clear your items once you get there. Now, although I did not use their door-to-door -door service, I was glad to know that they had that option. So therefore, if something happens with my person, then I have a backup. So that is why I was happy to choose this company, okay? So that is who I am using to ship my items. Now, it's gonna take about 45 days to ship my items, um, abroad okay so that time frame i have to work with when i'm gonna pick up and when they're going to well basically when they're going to drop off the shipping container to me and then when they're going to pick it back up because it has to be at the port at a certain time so i am working on those details 
as we speak. So the next is gonna be the pricing. So you want to basically ask them um, how much it will cost to ship a 20 foot container or a 40 foot container. As well as you wanna ask them about the cost for peak season and off season. Because if you're not in a rush to move right now and you can move at any time, then I would suggest choosing their off season because it will be cheaper for you. Because when I did my quote in November, it's a complete different price than what I am getting now. So you, I suggest you ask them these two questions to make sure that you're getting the best deal, okay? Um, the next thing is you want to know how long they're gonna give you for that estimate, okay? Because sometimes they don't give you long and sometimes they will give you 45 days. So the company that I'm using is giving me 30 days for me to think about it, see if this is what I want to do. And then within that 30 days, that price will be the same amount and I can go ahead and book and they will bring that shipping container to my house. And then I will keep it for three days, pack it up, and then they'll come back and pick it up on the third day and take it to the port for me. So that is what I am doing for me to be able to ship my items with this shipping container. Okay, guys. So the next topic is going to be the clearing agent. Now, I found my clearing agent on Facebook as well. And I put that question out on I need a clearing agent in Ghana. And I got so many um, referrals. So some people did not even answer me. Some people did. And for me, I had to choose basically based on the vibe, right? Because I don't really, people telling me they did a good job, right? But, you know, again, doing research, you really don't know. So I had to choose somebody that wasn't agitated when I asked a question. Um, I chose someone when I asked any questions that I want, you know, they were available for me. I was considerate in the different, time zone, you know, that they were in a different time than me, but at the same time, they were there readily available as well as, you know, telling me the things that I need to do, things that I need to get, how to protect my stuff, you know, so that nothing gets stolen. Okay. These are questions I asked and he answered them, including telling me what I need to do so that that won't happen. Okay. So I was very pleased with this company. Okay, and this company is called Anchor Clearing and Forwarding. And that is who I choose to clear my stuff once it gets to Ghana. Okay, now his price is depending on the size of the shipping container and everything that you're bringing that he's going to have to help clear for you. So again, the price can vary based on what it is that you're bringing into the country. Now, what will his job be? So basically what he's gonna be doing is once you see my shipping company ships it to Ghana, he's gonna be the one that's going to take the form that I get from the shipping company and take it to customs and let them know that he's gonna be the one clearing everything for me, okay? You're gonna need certain things like a EIN number, no, a TIN number, a TIN number. Um, I think that's a tax identification number. So all those things um, he's going to do for me, okay? Now, I'm going to put a snippet of what he told me the process will be so that you can hear for yourself how he explained to me the things that I needed to do, okay? And I'm going to put that snippet right now. Okay, so once it gets in country, what is the next step? Okay. When when a, when a container gets to Ghana here, and before let me let me go back before you you ship your container, or when you ship your container, you be given a document called bill of lading. Bill of landing, okay. Bill of, yeah, bill of lading. The bill of lading. You have all these informations on it. You have your name. That's the owner's name. That will be your name. Okay. You have the week. You have uh, the, the, there's there's a place they write description. That's one by twenty footer container. Okay. Set to contain household goods. Okay. And personal effects. That's how they do it. There will be a bill of lading number. There will be a weight. Okay. And when when it gets here, sometimes uh, you, you will get to Ghana before the vessel arrives. Okay. So in, in this case, I would advise you bring the bill of lading yourself. Okay. 
but there are situations where maybe uh, the container the container will get to Ghana here and we have to go ahead and process the documents before you come. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so in this case, maybe you you send it uh, via DHL or FedEx or something. Okay. So that yeah, so that I start working on it before you 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 come to Ghana. Okay. Yes. And as your name is on it and you don't have uh, the thing, the T I N. Okay. I have to I have to uh, go to customs so that it will give you a T I N to clear your goods. And what is a T I N? It's tax identification number. Okay, okay. Yeah, tax identification number. Anyone who comes to the port to clear his or a goose must have uh, this CIN. Okay, okay. So you can clear your goods, yes. Okay. And if you don't have, we have people who, with customs, who can get you this number for you to clear your goods. Okay. Yeah, so when it gets to Ghana here, with with a list of items you've given me, okay, I, I will go ahead and prepare something called packing list okay. and invoice. Okay, it's it's up to me to know when you give me the list. It's up to me to know this one. Customs Got you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's used yeah, for you one. to be able to decipher through the list that I gave you to know exactly. what. Okay, so when I start exactly. packing my stuff, you are my clearing exactly. agent, correct? Yes. Please. In the country that I'm going to be in, which is Ghana. Uh, exactly. Okay. And you also will be the person that's going to be delivering my stuff once it's cleared to my home, correct? Uh, delivering, I will, I will be the one to to take delivery from the port. Okay. But if I have to work on the container or open a container, that's how, that's how I go about it. You have to be there. No, no, no. I'm saying that you will be basically clearing my container and once it's cleared and ready to, to be done with, we're at the port, then you'll also be delivering my items to my house once it's done. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. That's what I meant. Okay. So now let's go back a little bit because I want to make sure that um, I get a clear understanding. So okay. when I start, I'm going to pack a packing list of everything that I'm going to be putting into that container. And once I do that, I'm going to give that list to you once I'm done. Okay. Yeah. Then when I get in, then once I'm shipping my items and they're already been shipped, I need to send you the bill of landing some sort of way by mailing it DHL so that you can have it and start working on getting it cleared there in Ghana. Sure. Okay. So now once you see my items have arrived in country, what is the next step? What happens next? Okay. Uh, if, if your goods arrive, what, what I do is I will, since I have the bill of lading and the parking list, I will apply to customs. And customs will give me duty to be paid on your goods. Okay. Yes, when duty is paid, the next step is shipping line. The, the shipping company that shipped your things from the state has a sister company in Ghana here. Okay. So they will charge something called local charges. Local charges, okay. Local charges, yes. They will charge it in Ghana here. And you, you have to... Let, let me take you back a bit. When, when you are shipping the things from the state... Tell them, insist that they should give you some free days. Since you'll be taking a container to your to your house to move the things before you bring the container back. So ask them to give you some free days. Free days, some give seven, some give uh, uh, 14 days. Okay. So 14 days, it's okay. I'm, I'm talking about these free days because so that you don't pay any extra charges like there's something called demorit. Okay. So ask the shipping company to give me some free days to be able yes, to unload my stuff. Yes. Okay. Give me free days to, to clear your things and offload uh, 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 your stuff. And the free days, sometimes they will, they will put it at you. How many days do you, do, you, do you think they should give you? If 14 days is okay. Because it starts, the 14 days starts 
the day the uh, container arrives or the vessel arrives. Okay. So it's the day it arrives, and uh, so the day will clear, and the day you will take the things out of the container. Okay. So this things should be done within that 14 days. Okay. When it goes beyond 14 days, you pay extra charges. Okay. Yes. So let me, let, let, let me go back again. So when it arrives and we'll pay the shipping line, we'll pay terminal charges. If the container goes to GPHA, that is Ghana Ports and Harbor Authority. Okay. Yes. There are charges that we have to pay. If it goes to MPS, that's a different terminal. Because we have these two terminals, the GPH, Ghana Ports and Harbor Authority, and MPS, Meridian Port Services. Okay. And which one should I be shipping to? No, the, this one, you, you use the shipping line. When it comes, the shipping line will determine where the container goes to. Okay. So not the one to do that. Okay, so the shipping company does that. Okay. Yeah, the shipping company does that. They will, they will tell you your container is where this, where is with this terminal. Okay, it'll tell me what port. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. So, if it's with GPH, we pay charges to them. If it's with uh, MPS, we pay their charges to them. They will give us a day to come and work on the container. Okay. So if I pay to pay. If I pay their charges today, I go like, okay, I want to work tomorrow. I want to, I want to take delivery of your container tomorrow. Then they will position the container, or they will. If it's MPS, I have to organize for a truck so that the truck will go and pick the container for the process. If it's GPHA, they will put the container uh, on on a platform, mm -hmm. so that I will go and work on it. Okay. So uh, in the port. There's another procedure. You have to open it for custom officers to come in, examine the items in the container. Okay. Yeah, so that it will make sure what uh, uh, you pay duty on, what 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 I wrote uh, for customs to give me duty on is exact things in the container. Okay. Yes, and we have we uh, we have two different custom officers that will come and look at it. We have National Security. We have Ghana Standard Board. Okay. So I would say that there are some few agencies that will come and examine the container. Then the, when the officer is satisfied and he takes whatever you have to give him, the money you have to give him, then he will release us in the system. Okay. He will release us, then we'll go and write Weibo. When he writes Weibo, we put it on a track then we are going. But when it's NPS, the NPS, the container will be on the track. So when you are done with everything, then the track moves. Okay. Yes. Um, can you yeah. tell me how, you know, I can know that my stuff will not be stolen, you know, um, by either me owning my own uh, container or sharing it with other people? Like, how do people get their stuff stolen and not get their stuff stolen? Because some people say they get their stuff stolen and some people say they haven't had that experience. So what experience would cause that to happen? Um, most of the time, I have to be sincere with you. It's true that some people get their stuff stolen. That one is very true. Because the, the whole issue is when they open the container, they have guys who will be given by the authority. That's the, uh, if it's NPS or if it's GAPOA. They have boys that will bring the if the officer says, "Oh, bring some of the things out of the container for me to do uh, conduct examination on it." Mm -hmm. They have boys that will bring the things out. So in this case, what people do is, if you come and you are not you are not around the container, or maybe you the owner, you leave everything to the uh, to the agent. Oh. Clear it and bring it to my house. That that is where the problem uh, happens. Okay. But with me, I always prefer the owner should be there. Okay. Before the container is. That's how that's how I do my things. Yeah, the okay. owner has to be there before we open the container. So 
someone okay so you're saying the owner have to be there to open the container but if the if the owner puts it in the agent's name to say they can go and do the examination then the owner's not there just the agent and that's where the problem lies with things getting stolen that's the problem. okay exactly because, because me being the agent i can't be close to the container throughout i have other processes to do gotcha how about that agents oh yes so by all means, I'm going to leave the container. Got you. And when I, leave the, when I leave the container and there's no one to attend to the container, Got you. can be stolen. Got you. So, so someone needs to be there to oversee when they're taking it out of the container. And when they put the responsibility okay. on the agent, the clearing yeah. agent, then he has to or she has to make other arrangements to do other things. So they can't just be there to supervise all the time. Okay, I get you. So yes. um, what about you told me something about a lock now? Do you still suggest a lock? And why do you suggest that? Um, you see, um, I said a lock because uh, most of the times the, the shipping company's vessel don't come straight to Ghana. Mm -hmm. Some goes to different ports. Okay. Some, some can transit to Togo before coming to Ghana. Some can transit to Nigeria before coming to Ghana. And the, the, the company, the shipping company will give you a sale. And that sale is, you can use a cutter to, to break the sale. Because when you come to the port, they use a cutter to break the sale. But when you have your lock, in addition to the sale that a shipping line will give, will give you, I think it's very safe. Okay. Yes. For us to be on the safer side, after the sale by the shipping, shipping company, you can also use your, uh, how do we call it, your lock. My own personal lock keep, to lock it. Mm -hmm. your, own, your, own, your own personal lock, then you keep the key. I keep the key, okay. You keep the key. So you make sure if we have to open a container tomorrow, I'll make you aware, let you aware that we are opening a container tomorrow. So when I come in, you bring along the key. Okay. So when that, that uh, shipping company sale is broken, the next one is you have to open it with your key. Okay. Okay. Yes. And and if you do that, meaning container was open right in your present. Okay. Cool I'll beans. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Thank you so much, Mr. Francis, for talking with me. Thank you. Thank you, too. you have a good day. I do. All right. Soon. Bye. Okay, guys. So I hope that this helps you to get an idea on what you will need to do, you know, to get your stuff cleared into Ghana okay I picked this guy because he's very detailed and I am someone that likes to know what I'm getting myself into so that I can prepare myself if something happens and when I tell you that this company did that for me he helped me every step of the way okay the shipping company had a form for me to fill out and I didn't know how to fill it out and I called him and he told me how to fill it out okay and even places that the shipping company was telling me to put my information on he was telling me you know, what I needed to do that that was incorrect. So I was able to correct a lot of things, you know, along the way. So I would choose him again if I was even shipping something over, even if it's a barrel, I would contact him for him to clear it for me because I know that he's going to make sure it arrives safely into Ghana. I mean, down to telling me to get a lock for my shipping container. Like he basically, hands down, is the best. I refer him 10 toes down. I refer him. So again, guys, follow your dreams. What's for you? No one can take it away. Not even yourself. So until next time. Bye.